all right, you know, there's there's nothing like I always say being behind the scenes. I know you're down in Tampa, right? Are you are you in Tampa? Tampa, Florida. Ah, uh, are you from Tampa? No, I'm from New York. New York, New York. So nice they named it twice. <laughs> I know that's not original. I know. I get it. Okay, it's cool. But here's here's what I like to do if I can. Um, we're behind the scenes, and sometimes when I'm behind the scenes, I like to ask the question of, tell us a little bit. Tell me about your backstory. Give me the the two minute narrative. Like where was Debbie, Deborah? I'm sorry, Deborah. Um, how did you get started? And then how did you get to where you are right now? Like I'm curious. Just give me the backstory. Sure. So it was around my, it's a, it wasn't too long ago, but around my mid 40s where I was, I've had a 20 year marketing career and all of a sudden I was done. Like it was time for me to do something new. I had uh, generated, you know, millions for the company I was with. And I discovered this whole world of uh, online where there's these business owners and they don't necessarily have a marketing background and they needed someone to help them to market themselves. Um, so I thought getting online would be easy. I could start my business. Everything would be super simple. But by the time I got online, it was very nerve wracking. So, um, you know, the imposter syndrome set in and all of that stuff. So I pretty much started over. It felt like I was in the, the first grade in kindergarten. But eventually I found my way. Um, I found LinkedIn. I became really good at LinkedIn. I had a lot of people reaching out to me and asking for help. And um, this is where I am right now. I help people with their uh, marketing strategies and we use LinkedIn as a tool to get them to where they need to be. Wow, that's like super cool. I mean, so when you were in marketing before, you weren't doing social media, you were doing something entirely different. Is that what I just heard? Yeah, just marketing strategies for companies in general, nothing to do with social media at all. So, and the funny thing is I was always on Instagram. So I, I knew Instagram. I just didn't know there was a world of business owners that hung out online until one day someone tagged me in a post for someone else and they were looking for someone um, who needed help with marketing. And I was like, wait a minute, people are paying other people um, without knowing them for help. And yeah, that's pretty much how it came to be. And everyone was shocked when I left this, you know, I was, I was with uh, Ideal Limits for 10 years. People were shocked that I left, but it was time. Yeah, sometimes sometimes it's time to do that. I'm looking forward to diving more into that and seeing how that relates to the audience. So thanks so much. They give me the cue, as they always do, by the way. So thanks for giving me the backstory. So I know this super duper behind the scenes. I love it. With that being said, they give me the signal that it's time to get started. So let's get going. Oh, wait, wait, in five. Okay, I got you. Four, three, two, one. Let's get started. Please go ahead and give a big standing check, ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? You better be running. That's right. That's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning and meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the Peak Performance Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea into a reality, their reality into a business, their business into a movement, impacting 5.7 million lives around the world. Imagine that. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Network, the world's largest organization for the well-being of an entrepreneur. And as we always say, our mission at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, our mission is to inspire, empower, and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And our mantra. You know, I love our belief. Everyone should have a belief statement. Our belief is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. With that being said, let's get started. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur, and welcome to the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, The Happy Entrepreneur Show. And I'm like super excited. Like I, I couldn't wait for this particular episode. Not that I didn't admire the other ones, but because I know this one idea 
this one strategy, this is the breakthrough that you, the busy entrepreneur, you, the speaker, you, the author, you, the small business owner, you, the expert, are you the person that is ready for a breakthrough in your business that that was going to be the case this evening? And, you know, one of our mantras that we say all the time is that the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. Well, on this episode, well, it's all about results in your bank account. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. And our mission for those folks that are tuning in very for the very first time, our mission really is to be the resource for busy entrepreneurs so that you can access all of the tools that you need so you can have the money and the time to support the vision for the people you were called to serve. And that's the whole mission of the Happy Entrepreneur Show, to provide the money and the resources. And that comes when you're able to make more sales, when you're able to improve your marketing, improve your automation, and improve yourself. And this evening, this morning, this afternoon, whatever time it is for you, we're going to focus on improving you. So let me say hello. Let me say howdy. Let me say what's up to the one and the only, the fabulous, the bold, the brilliant, and the bright one, Deborah Ashley. What's up, Deborah? Hi, Shay. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for everyone who is watching. I watch the show all the time. And I know you guys bring some amazing value. So I'm very happy to be on here and share with your audience um, LinkedIn strategies and even how to get started to make that money so you can make the impact that you want in the world. Ah, make an impact that you want on the world. You are so true. Let me say hello to Kimberly Manning, who's joining. Thanks a lot, Kimberly Manning out in Baltimore. Danny Don, my man, is in the house. What's up, Michael Sharp? Thanks for joining. Nathan Johnson is in the house. Alyssa Mitchell. I'm going to tell you, Deborah. Alyssa Mitchell is one of the hardest working people I know out there. Thank all of you for taking notes. We appreciate it. Kim Y. Off. What's up, by the way? She's down in Raleigh, North Carolina. You got Kim Warren Martin in the house all the way coming from Little Rock, Arkansas. Hello to Deborah Gardner out there in Phoenix, Arizona. Y'all got to get her book, by the way. You've got to get the book. Go Google Deborah Gardner. Leroy McKenzie, what's going on? Jacqueline Elliott. Look, all of y'all that are joining, I got to get started. Let me ask the first question, and I think it's a relevant question. It might be on your mind. Deborah, before we talk about how wonderful you are, okay, and how great you are, one of the questions has to be that every entrepreneur on here, they've heard about LinkedIn. Intellectually, they get LinkedIn. Why is it that we don't really use LinkedIn as one of our strategies to grow our business? Now, I'm not speaking to all of you out there. I'm talking to Shea Brown and some of y'all who are on the Shea Brown trail right now. Y'all on my train. You know you're not using LinkedIn. It's not being updated the way it is. You're not connecting. Why don't we use it as a resource, although we know it exists? Well, from what I've been told, and even the same thing was with me when I first started out, it is LinkedIn can be a bit intimidating if you don't know what you're doing. So it's hard to try something new. It's hard to accept a new challenge. So a lot of people, they prefer to do what is safe and not necessarily because they don't want to break out of their comfort zone is because it's more because they know that, hey, this is working for me. So why do I have to try something new? But the thing with LinkedIn that I absolutely love is that people are on there just to do business. It's the largest platform for business professionals to do business. Um, so I think there's a lot of hesitation just because people don't know how to work it. But I think with what I can share today, at least it will give a little bit of a um, a, a comfort or, or like an ease in order to at least go on, go on there, log in and start to play around with your profile. Oh, gosh. OK, so let me just like seem like this one more thing to add to my plate. I'm not trying to be offensive. I know you're going to be here. You got some great content. But look, I'm already a busy entrepreneur. I've got so much on my plate. What do you say to someone like myself that's out there right now and is saying, you know what? I've got to use another tool. I've got to try to make sure I manage it. What do you say to me right now or to someone that's listening and saying not something else? And before you do that, let me say hello to Ursula. What's up, Ursula? Thanks for joining. D. Bolden is always a pleasure. Tanisha Simpson, thank you so much. Look, for everyone who's watching right now, for everyone who's tuned in, do me a favor. I want you to look right below the video. Look right below the video. And I want you to post these words. It's my time. Hashtag, let's do it. Just put it's my time to learn LinkedIn. Hashtag, let's do it. 
it's my time to raise my standards in my business hashtag let's do it just look right below the video right now look right below the video and i want you to put it's my time and if it's your time to reach a new target audience i want you to pay attention if it's your time to use another automation tool that's going to not only generate revenue but build relationships you look right below the video look right below the video and write these words it's my what time and when you write those words that's a signal to someone else that you're willing to collaborate that's a signal to someone else you're willing to work together all right back to my question for those folks that are out there back to my question what do you say to the person right now that says this is another thing i gotta learn why should i pay attention why should i even try why should i get started when i really haven't been doing anything in the last 12 months well, LinkedIn, it can be pretty simple. If you have 45 minutes a day, which you could break up into maybe, you know, 15 minutes first, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes midday and 15 minutes in the evening, um, you could definitely get a nice amount of leverage on LinkedIn. I always say to my clients who are starting out and they say that they don't have a lot of time is 45 minutes a day enough. And is it worth it to get even you know, one $10,000 client, and that's an easy yes. So if you have 45 minutes a day, I think it's well worth it just to put yourself out there because you can definitely get, the clients are waiting for you, so why not? They're waiting for you on LinkedIn. I'm sure they're waiting for someone with your expertise and with your solution, but if you don't put yourself out there, then clearly they're not going to find you. Clearly, I agree with you entirely. Clearly, they're not going to be able to find you. Here's, here's what I like to do. Let's all collect, connect now on LinkedIn. Now, I don't know how to do it, so I'm going to ask her how do I do that. So, Ladija White, who's watching right now, welcome aboard, by the way, from Atlanta right now. Kimberly Mann, who put It's My Time, let's do it. Samada Williams, who did it. Ken Warren Martin put It's My Time. This is what we're going to do. What's up, Quinn Conyers? Deborah, if it's okay with you, I want everyone to post their link to LinkedIn. Now, I'm embarrassed to tell you, I don't even know how to do it. But. <laughs> So guide me through this. I'm going to pull up my LinkedIn profile. Don't laugh at my LinkedIn profile, everybody. But you get your LinkedIn profile ready. We're going to post our LinkedIn profile below. And then once we do that, Deborah's going to walk through some things we can do to reach new clients and do new things. So you're going to post a link to your LinkedIn profile. And I promise you, I promise you, tonight, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are, I promise you, you're going to learn some new things. So let me, let me click over here. Let me click over here. Okay, this is my LinkedIn profile. Do I just grab this up here? Is this what I grab? You are going to go over to your profile area. Yeah, and you're, so you're, for, for, but for others, but first you're gonna go to your profile area. Where's that at? Okay. Um, click on your picture. Right here? Yeah. Okay. And then click on it? Yeah, I don't see your mouse on the, okay, there, it's coming up now. And right. all you have to go is to your URL, which is on top. And for everyone else, if you're just on your, um, if you're on your mobile phone, you can do something different. But yeah, you're just going to grab your URL on top and then you're just going to clearly post it in the uh, oh, messages. Good Lord. OK, so let me go ahead. Let me let me go ahead and post this now. Now, now let me walk us through that. Once we post this, what do you want folks to do once they start posting their LinkedIn? So Sandy Saunders, post your LinkedIn profile. Uh, C. Marie Henderson, post yours. Andrea. She says, do you run ads on LinkedIn? Don't worry, I'm going to ask her that. So she's going to write that question down. How do you run ads on LinkedIn? Because I have no idea. Go ahead and post right now your, your thing below. I'm going to do that right now. Now, once we post that, what do you want us to do? Let me ask that question. The first thing that I would want every single person to do, it's going to really make you stand out a lot more. And I think that you have done it already, Shay, is to um, update your URL. So typically, when you first start with LinkedIn, it gives you this standard LinkedIn.com slash IN, you know, Shea, 59777-9311. Okay. It doesn't always say that. But then what you want to do is, uh, and we can show you two on screen, you want to go into that custom URL okay. and create your own. You can just create your name. So unless your name is very common, though, you can do a... a um, an initial in between if you're a coach you can do you know coach shay just for an example okay um, but just switch that url with your with your name instead so when so someone, i need to go to the comments and put this here right so i'm gonna yeah, put mine put it, in there yeah. now okay and let me just double check yours to make sure all make right, sure kim right. Martin has definitely switched hers so kim martin has done hers shay yep you've done yours too okay. hey karen how are you 
All right, so yeah, Shay, you, you've updated your URL. So that's gonna be the first thing that you wanna do because, yeah. and as an example, if you're at a conference, a lot of people are starting to go to a lot of events. If you are at a conference or an event and someone wants to know how to get in contact with you, and you may have a very common name, if they try to type in your name like, you know, John Smith, there will be at least 50 people with the name John Smith. However, if you give them your, your, your custom LinkedIn URL, they're gonna find you almost immediately. You want to make it easy for people to find you, to connect with you, and to contact you. Because if they don't, we live in a world where if we can't do it right away, we move on to the next person. Um, so that's going to be very important. The so, next so, so the first thing everybody do, everyone needs to do, do me a favor, look right below the video. Look right below the video right now. And here's why I want you this. For everyone that's putting their LinkedIn profile right below the video, I want you now to connect with them. This is an opportunity to collaborate. This is an opportunity to work together. Don't worry if your LinkedIn profile isn't even updated. Um, I know we're going to go do some stuff in mine um, today. She's going to show you some things. And I'm embarrassed because when you go look at mine, I'm embarrassed. Because every time I've done this, uh-oh, you can't even see my screen, can you? All right, let me see. Can you see it now? Okay, yeah. I'm embarrassed because every time I go in here, I still have hair, as you can see. That's so embarrassing. I still have a blue suit on with a white shirt and a red tie like when I was back in corporate America. That's right. super embarrassing. But this morning, this evening, we're going to fix it. So people like Andrea Evans, who put her LinkedIn profile. Karen, what's up? Karen down in Mississippi. Put your profile down. We're going to connect. Alyssa Mitchell put her profile down. Now, these are the people you want to collaborate with. These are the people you want to work with. Why? Because they are willing to collaborate and work with you. Now, after they put that down, and we're going to get into how you talk to people on LinkedIn. We're going to get to talk about how do you message them? How do you respond to them? How do you do research? So if Shadis want to know all of the sales managers or sales VPs, how do I do that? She's going to do that. But I want you to take a moment and connect. Um, do me a favor if you can. Talk about the importance on the profile and making sure you have the right background uh, behind there, what you do as well. Right. What's up, Nicole Hurston? Thanks for joining. Monica Nettles Johnson, it is always a pleasure. Thank you so much for being here. Fabulous. So let's talk about the background. So the background is a very important piece for your profile. That is something that follows you around LinkedIn no matter where you so, go. So this background, what I have here, this awful looking blue standard that background? Standard blue is what you want to change right <laughs> don't, away. Don't, so please don't, please don't tell anybody I have a graphics team. I feel embarrassed. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, but you, and you have images all over too. And just to give an idea for speakers, if you have an image of yourself speaking on stage, with the audience, of course, make that your background image. That's going to say more than anything, any words you can say. If an event organizer is taking a look at your profile, all they have to see is that you have, you're a speaker. The next thing they'll probably look for, obviously, is any video of you speaking. But right away, if you're a speaker and you have that up front, then you want to put that as your banner. Oh, that's cool. So, so in behind there, can you put a video in the background as well? Or does it have to be an image? Just an image, but yeah, when you scroll down, so the event organizer, most likely, they're probably going to scroll down your profile, and there is an uh, area where you could put your uh, video and your... Hold you on, know, let, me, let me go back. Let me go back here. So this yeah. is the profile here, and the reason we're doing this, like Kimberly Manning, who put hers down, Monica put hers down. Um, don't worry, Deborah, she's, Deborah's going to put hers in there. Don't worry. She's, she's focused right now on, on being here, but don't worry. She's going to connect with you guys. She'll find you in the feed. Don't worry. You'll find her. Um... I'm scrolling down here, and you said you can put a video on here. I'm embarrassed. I don't have no videos. I don't know what this video is. Oh, my so God. So right, right, right below that About section, yeah, right here? That, you're going to do that edit where you see the – so for everyone, when you go back in after this or if you have worked – Right, hit the edit here. Oh, look at and, this. But – just so you know, don't use the upload. LinkedIn has, when you think about it, everyone, LinkedIn is- Hold on, hold on. Did, did you say don't use the, don't hit the upload button? Yeah, don't use the upload. Why? LinkedIn is pretty still new in this game. They, don't, they haven't figured it out yet. You're going to have to do a link. Your video is going to be placed on YouTube. You're going to put that privately on YouTube. You're going to do a link, and then you're going to do um, the URL from YouTube, and it's going to come right up, but it doesn't work. And the funny thing, when I first started out too, I was like, why is this not uploading? Right. Upload function is not is not a good for video yet. Okay, so so what I took what I took away from this, number one, hit the link button. Can you have more than one video here? You you can have as many as you want. I would suggest no more than four because you can put it throughout your profile. Right. Uh, put your maybe your if you had a, a major interview, if you have a 
um, say you, you've spoken and you have like maybe like a no more than 90 second clip um, remember it. oh my god I got 85 plus notifications 99 my, I don't even know what this stuff is up here now don't worry Sandy Sanders she said I haven't used my LinkedIn in a long time don't worry this is not a beat me up session um, one of the things that Deborah promised me she's not here to beat me up or beat anyone up and say why have you been doing this she's not here to make you feel guilty or bad she's going to do something special for at least two people so She's not here to do that. She's here to help us all improve our LinkedIn so that we can network, so that we can collaborate, so we can reach new communities, build new audiences, extend our network, and extend our brand. And she's here to make that happen in this conversation. So she's now sharing with me that there's multiple places you can put your video in. Now, would it be appropriate for me to put a video of Hi, my name is Shay Brown. This is a little bit about Shay Brown. Can I record one just to put into LinkedIn or is that kind of cheesy? I wouldn't necessarily, so I would do something obviously that speaks to the pain point of the client that you're looking to reach. Okay. Uh, for an example, this is what I used to have. Um, are you tired of being overlooked and undervalued and having your ideas credited towards someone else? Then maybe you should do something about it. Hi, I'm Deborah Ashley and your qualifications, qualifications. Oh, I like that. Okay, say that one more time. Someone take notes is out there. What's up, Jarvis, my man? Patricia McNeese, thanks for joining. You're in the house. Salim, it is always a pleasure. Sorry, I mean to interrupt you. Please yeah. tell me one more time what you just said of what we can do for the video because I like the character that somebody has a problem. I like sharing the problem. So say it one more time because I'm going to make a commitment. I'm going to work with you. You're going to figure out how you're going to make my stuff up. But um, um, what type of video can we get everyone take notes right now go so your initial video will be we're going to paint we're going to point out the specific pain points that your ideal client has then you're going to suggest maybe it's time to do it now i'll go through mine really quickly then you're going to suggest maybe it's time you, you do something about it then you introduce yourself and you're going to let them know why you are the obvious choice you don't want to have them feel pressure or anything. So you could say, feel free. And so I'll, I'll run through my, what would mine would be really quickly. Hi, are you tired of being un overlooked and undervalued and having your ideas credited towards someone else? Then maybe it's time you do something about it. Hi, I'm Deborah Ashley. And for the past 20 years, I've been helping brands and individuals build more awareness around their business. Now, if you are looking to speak with someone to market your business and to get more exposure and more visibility, then feel free to reach out and connect with me. I'd love oh. to have a conversation with you to see how I, how I can help you. Oh, man, that's good. Oh, my gosh, that was good. Look, let's all make a commitment. I made this commitment before and I didn't follow through. I said, I'm going to update my LinkedIn. I have not updated my LinkedIn and, well, I had hair. I get it. <laughs> I looked a little younger. I get it. I had a red tie on. Okay, there was a time I worked in corporate America. That's what we had to do. But I'm going to update that. I'm going to have a T-shirt on. Okay, Deborah, we're going to talk about that. Everyone out there, Coach Claire Sunshine, Andrea, Charlene Day, I want to make sure we all connect on LinkedIn. We're just getting started. I'm going to ask them the number one question on the mind of every entrepreneur is how do I reach my target audience? How do I do research and find the target audience that I want to talk to, I want to connect with? We're going to talk about that in a way that doesn't sound pushy or sleazy or slimy or like a used car salesman. And we're going to talk about that because that's going to be very important. So when we come back, when we come back, she's going to break that thing down for us and tell us how do we reach out to, how, first, how do I find someone, let's say this in sales, that a sales VP, and then what's the best way to connect with them? And then we're going to take a look at her profile. Yeah, we're going to go look at her profile. Yeah, I can't wait. All right, with that being said, we're going all the way over to Ohio. My good friend, Sean Harper, seven-time NFL football player, he's going to talk to us about being all in. One of the things I knew is when we were having this episode, I said, you know what, Sean? I've been talking about LinkedIn. I've been reading books about LinkedIn. I done interviewed guests about LinkedIn. But guess what? I ain't done nothing with LinkedIn. Bro, you got to be all in. I'm like, oh, God, there he goes. Ash, don't worry, Deborah. When y'all see me about a little while from now, mine's going to be updated. All right, Sean, take it away. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country. And on the other side, from Tampa, Florida, the one and only, has her own marketing firm, none other than Deborah Ashley. 
It's going to be going down. We get back. You don't want to miss it. We'll be back in just a moment. Hi, my name is Sean Harper, motivational speaker, and today is my January 1st. First and foremost, I am excited just to be a part of this tribe, this community uh, that are really getting down to the nuts and bolts of what it takes to win in life. I use the word win versus success because success is not static and win is a final, firm, fixed destination. January 1st, I'm thinking of the word or the phrase all in. Well, we've heard this phrase all in and, you know, and famous basketball players talk about the word all in, but do we really know what that means? I'm reminded of watching poker on ESPN, right? And, and these guys have you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of chips on the table and one lonely guy in the corner has about 12 chips. But when he takes both hands and pushes the chips in the middle and he says the phrase, all in. It doesn't matter how much money is on the table at that moment, right? The guy, the millionaire with the funny glasses, the smiles turn to frowns. People begin to sweat. How is it that a man that has 12 or 13 chips is able to confound millionaires with thousands of dollars of chips? Because at that moment, he has declared that I am do or die. Uh, spirit, soul, body, I am all in and I will do whatever it takes to win. When you meet a person that's all in, that person is dangerous. This is why. I believe we still live in the greatest country of the world because our founding fathers signed the Declaration of Independence under the penalty, under the penalty of treason, which means that had we lost, they all would have been hung. You want to start a business? You want to grow a business? You want to start a career? Here's my question for you. Are you all in? And if you're not all in, you better rethink the process. Fight for that. Fight for the all in to win. Thank you. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Welcome back to the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. Look right below the video, all of my entrepreneurs. Look right below the video, all of my champions. Look right below the video. And I want you to write these words. I am, two words, I am all in. Put I am all in for LinkedIn. <laughs> Seriously, seriously, look right below the video. I, I, I want you to do this. I want to send a sound. And if I could write right down, I would. You look right below the video, Karen. You look right below the video, Calvin. You look right below the video, Reginald Williams. You look right below the video, Marsha. Welcome back. All of you, welcome back. Look right below the video and write these words. I am all in for LinkedIn. Don't worry, I'm going to ask you. The first question I'm going to ask you is why should you be all in for LinkedIn? Why should you make that declaration right now? And why should you take action? Don't worry, I'm going to ask Deborah, why should you be all in for LinkedIn right now? And why should you take action? So do me a favor, look right below the video like Marsha Walker. She put, I am all in for LinkedIn. Shoshanda Cruz, thanks for joining. Patsy Yancey, it is always a pleasure. It is always a pleasure. What's up, Deb? My person, what's happening? So look right below the video. Look right below the video and write those words. I am all in for LinkedIn. Um, Deborah, I think it's a reasonable question at a reasonable time. Why should they, one, make that statement? I'm all in for LinkedIn. And number two, um, why should they take action as soon as you give them the command to take some action? Why should they do it? And as you're doing that, by the way, Tiffany Betha says, I'm all in. Karen Crockett Cherry out in Mississippi said, I'm all in. Rain Adams says, I'm all in. Sandy Sanders says, I'm all in. Lori L.J. Johnson said, I'm all in. What's up, Shelly Shelton, my good friend with Eric Thomas? What's up? What's up? What's up? Someone hit the like button. Someone hit the heart button. Someone encouraged someone to be all in. All right. I got to be quiet. Deborah. Why should they be all in for LinkedIn? Talk to me. Holla at your boy. So here is where we're getting. This is, a, this is the part that excites me. We are getting on the ground floor. Like I mentioned, LinkedIn is still pretty new. It was just, what, four years ago that Microsoft bought them, and they switched from just uh, job hunting and uh, a, a, a career site now into a business-focused type of site. So... 
LinkedIn is giving you the same amount of reach and the same amount of exposure that Facebook did six, seven years ago when you could post something on your business page on Facebook or post something on your regular page and everyone would see it. That's how LinkedIn is right now. We already know it's not going to last, right? So we, they, obviously LinkedIn has uh, the options for ads, as someone did ask, but mm -hmm. you don't need to do it right now because there's so much amazing organic reach. Um, for example, and we'll show, I'll show it to you when we get on my page. But on oh, your, your page, you want me to? You do you want me to? Want me to bring your page up? Sure. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to her page. Okay, okay. <laughs> the team is getting that ready. She says she's gonna show us something. Like, you, don't you? Don't you love teachers who want to show it? By the way, don't you love it? Alyssa says I'm all in for LinkedIn. By the way, Kim Warren Martin said I'm all in for LinkedIn. April Phil said I'm all in for LinkedIn. Thanks so much, Shelly Sheldon, Alyssa Mitchell. I see you. Okay. They give me the signal saying go, Shay, go. So I got to go. Okay. All right. So I'm now on your page. Right. So you see with my, and I'll just quickly go over the, the reason I do certain things that I do with the banner image. It's all about creating credibility, speaking to who you are almost immediately. So you have, less, you have like three this. seconds or less to make an impression or someone's moving on to the next person. All right. So, so if, if folks want to connect with you on LinkedIn that are watching now, because I know you do connect back as well. And some of them, do they go to this right here, the LinkedIn black belt? Yeah, it says the link black belt. I, okay. I try to do LinkedIn. LinkedIn won't allow me, but the link black belt. Okay. Okay. So now we're looking at your page. So first thing we need to do is we need to do a banner. Um, and if you have a graphics team or someone like that, you can get them to do a banner for you. Tell us a about the tag. Tell us about the headline you have underneath there, and then the then the problem that you saw below, so they get an understanding of what you do. Because I haven't got a chance to get to that. Because we're all in for sure. LinkedIn. We're all in. For LinkedIn. <laughs> <laughs> so with your headline, you can do you can do a few different things. Your headline is all about branding you, branding your expertise, and branding clearly getting the attention of the people that you want to connect with. Um, not only did I show, tell you exactly what I will help you do uh, with my banner, but I show you that I have credentials from media, um, even with companies that I've worked with. That's Ooh. just the banner. Oh, tell, tell us, can you, can you brag for a little bit? Of tell, tell about this CNN and some of these credentials at the bottom, just because so folks get a sense of who you are. And then we're going to get back to you explain it. Oh, what's it say except for? Why does that say except? Where, where is that? Um, it says accept, oh, ignore. I sent, you a, I sent you a connection, not to not to shame anyone. <laughs> yeah. You I sent, sent me a you, connection? I sent you a um, connection request. Oh, so, when? I, um, I'm not sure, probably about a month ago. <laughs> you know, right, I, haven't, I haven't looked at LinkedIn probably since <laughs> out about a month or two. Let me hit accept right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I am all in for LinkedIn. I didn't know what that button would. I'm so embarrassed. I'm like, gosh. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accept her now. Okay, I'm hitting accept. Uh-oh, what would happen? That means we're connected. All right, so now I got to go back over here? I yeah. feel like I feel like my father or somebody, you know. <laughs> what button do I hit? Okay, okay. So brag a little about these credentials you have now. Tell us a little about, about those. Now that we've linked in. Oh, look at that. It says Thrive Mar Marketing. Oh, that's pretty Marketing. cool. So that's my company. So we now, just so we don't look like we are just, a, you know, um, mom and pop, you want to make sure you, you don't have to necessarily always be on your company page, which is the equivalent of a business page, but you want to have that available for others to look at. I, so I got if, it. Okay. Yeah. Or if, say, as an example, if you were looking to work with corporate clients, they will not only look at your your uh, regular page, but they also want to look at who you are as a business. So, so if, I, if I click this page, it takes me somewhere? It takes you to my business, my company page. Oh, so so you have a company page too? Yeah. Well, it didn't take you there, but it should. But if you type, if you tap on Thrive Marketing, um, or you can just you can type it in, you'll see my company page. Okay. Okay. Got it. So I didn't I I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I know you was about to tell us how famous you are. So tell us about some of those those icons below. I got carried away, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. No worries. Mm -hmm. um, so I've had several other businesses in the past. I'm, the, I'm this innovator type that even though I was working full time, sometimes I get a little bored and I want to do something different. Mm -hmm. um, so when I lived in Atlanta, I started the personal shopping business. This was about 15 years ago when it was still fairly new. Mm -hmm. um, and um, someone called me up. They were doing a story for Oprah magazine on 
20 different ways you can decrease stress during the holidays and hire a personal shopper was one of them. Uh, by the way, my background, I have an undergrad in PR, so I, I had a press release out there. So that's pretty much how it happened. So, um, so hold on, say it a little slower. You can't just say I was on Oprah and, and, and kind of act like I was on Oprah. Um, I can't tell you the last time I've interviewed someone on Oprah. <laughs> zero times by the way so ladies and gentlemen you are now witnessing something for the very first time everyone out there do me a favor look right below we're not gonna let her brag but look right below the video and just put congratulations just put congratulations deborah just look right below the video but anybody that made it to oprah and she's gonna talk about linkedin some cool strategies but they got in there that's that's I mean, we, we got we to gotta give it up for her. We got to give it for her. She's a bad sister. She's a bad woman. She's out there doing the got dong thing. So look right below the video. What's up, Rose Walker? Javis, my man. Hey, Javis. I, gotta, I can't wait to get my new shirts. Today's my January 1st. Um, but anyway, look right below the video. Look right below the video and write these words. Congratulations, Deborah. Congrats, Deborah. Or just great job, Deborah. All right, Deborah. Tell us how you got to Oprah just real quick. You had a press release. You can't, you can't just let that go by. I, I got to understand this. That's, a, that's actually a lesson in itself. Um, well, give I'm me the three-minute version. Background. Sorry? I said, give me the three-minute version. <laughs> okay, I will. So, <laughs> we're going up, put our head down, do the work, just do, you know, check up all the lists and you're going to be successful, right? Mm -hmm. But what, is really, what does success really mean? Does it mean that you're so modest that when you get an Oprah magazine, you're not telling anyone because you don't want people to think you're bragging? Um, while someone else, Mary Sue, will change your voicemail and all of a sudden it's a celebration. So you don't want to, you don't want to be so modest that you're being overlooked and undervalued. You want to make sure that you, you're loud about your accomplishments and people know because it's if you're if you can't celebrate yourself, then no one else will. So three minute version. So uh, <laughs> another lesson in itself. So uh, so yeah, I got um, the press from Oprah. That was in December. Um, by then, and you you've heard the stories about people not ready for the celebrity that happens to them. Oh oh, I've I've heard that, but I can tell you right now, Marsha Walker saying congratulations. Rain is saying congratulations. Shelly Shelton is saying congratulations. Charlene Day is saying congratulations. I know you'll see all the comments when you go back into the feed. I know you'll see those out there, by the way. Lloyd Johnson says, awesome job. Karen Crockett Cherry, who we met at Success Conference, and they put on the number one conference in the world for women, by the way. She says, congratulations, definitely, by the way. Sandy Sanders says, congratulations. Rose Walker says, amazing job. Kimberly Manny says, congratulations. So I'll let you get back to your story. But I just wanted you to brag for a little bit because, I, I, you know, that's a really good job. And it didn't just come because you woke up one day and say, please put me in there. Right. Well, thanks, everyone. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so uh, pretty much they, they picked up that story. Um, <laughs> I'll just say it just like that. <laughs> um, and I also, that, that same December, <laughs> it's hilarious. That same December, um, um, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution did a story on me on how she did it, how she made it, and I was also on the news. They followed me around while I did shopping for someone on the news. So I got really busy really quickly, and I self-sabotaged just because it was overwhelming. So that's something uh, Shay is very good at teaching that. Make sure that you have a back-end system so when things start to get really busy, it doesn't become overwhelming and you don't drop the ball. So lesson in itself. Um, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay. So let's, let's, let's now get back to your profile. Gonna, they're going to pull that back up in just a second. You was walking us through the headline. Uh, can you see it there? Yeah. Okay, so on, let me, it. let me make sure they can, let me make sure we got both of us up there. I think they said I got to Okay. We're, we're going to pull this back up for everyone. That, if you haven't yet went and look right below the video, if you haven't put your profile, put your link in profile because Deborah has a cool gift that she's going to do where she's going to actually help someone like help someone or review what they have and show you exactly what you need to do who knows maybe you find yourself an Oprah I don't know but <laughs> to actually update your LinkedIn so you can attract the type of people you want to attract all right back over to our regularly scheduled time over here now that we're off the Oprah story I love the Oprah story that is just you're the first one I interviewed has been an Oprah man this is like amazing amazing i'm so happy yes yes you are amazing okay thank you okay All i know right. I'm, i know i'm not supposed to do that but i'm supposed to be real cool calm <laughs> so i'm gonna get back to being shea brown <clears throat> okay. back to linkedin please <laughs>
So then right below your name is where your headline is. That's where you're speaking specifically to the problem you solve. Right right here where it says jumpstart your brand online, right. gain more clients. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's where you, and typically we, we will put I help X so they can do Y and then end with the Z, which is a benefit. Um, I did it kind of like in a different way, but what you want to do is you want to completely understand what their, and for my ideal client, their end, their end goal, and we're limited in, in what we can put out there, but their end goal is to make more money so they can create more impact in the world. But right now, what they're thinking about on LinkedIn is they want to gain more clients, they want to gain more profits, and definitely they want to gain more exposure. So that's what I am speaking to them. I'm telling them that's exact. They have no doubt in their mind what I do when they come to my page. And just for keyword's sake, because LinkedIn is also searchable. It's a search engine in itself. So if someone uh, uses the terms marketing strategist, and they, they also... Uh, and by the way, I'll tell you why I have greater New York City area for a reason. Um, but if someone types in those two terms, they will find me pretty much at the top of the list. Um, the wow. reason that I have, if you scroll down um, up a little bit, if, I don't know if anyone saw that greater New York City area, although I do live where's, in the, where, Where's that at? Right below my headline. Oh, yes, it's greater New York City area. Yeah, why, why does that Because you're in, you're in Tampa, Florida, right? I'm in Tampa, Florida. So what you want to do, if you have clients in a specific area where you're getting most of your clients, you can just change it. To, so if you say if you're in tech and you want to attract a lot of firms that are in the, you know, the, the Bay Area, um, put San Francisco Bay Area, you're going to have because people are OK now with with working remotely or virtually with others, but they're first going to look in their own city. So since New York is a much larger city than the Tampa Bay area, that's why I put that and I get more clients from that area. Oh, that's so, so that's another strategy. Secret strategy. Yes. Secret strategy. Because one of the things that I admire that you're doing is, yeah, we, we take a look at her profile and that is important. And she's sharing some key things she's done. And we're going to go back to mine in a minute. But she's also walking you through. And I want you to look at your own profile and I want you to make a commitment right now that you're going to update your profile. Now, she's given probably 20 different ideas, <laughs> and, and we're just getting started. So I'm going to ask her to boil it down and say, you know what? For the Shea Brown of the world, um, who's busy, um, what if I had to start with step one, step two, and step three, and I want to make a commitment between now and next Monday, I was going to get something done, what would you recommend? And then we'll talk about when we come back in a second how to reach out to new clients. But where would you start? Shea, step one change your background or step one change your profile what would you recommend what are three steps or maybe three to five steps you would recommend that are easy they're easy we don't want to have to go write a check for five grand we don't want to have to go i mean <laughs> just make it please just make it really easy easy simple free easy peasy come on the things you want to really focus on would be your headline your banner image your so we're going to do four all right so so I'm, I'm gonna do this just slow you down for one second when you do it i want someone to take notes for her because she's she's got a lot she's going boom rapid fire <laughs> so she'll say step one do this so step one change your banner so someone look right below the video and put step one we're going to pay this forward to all our podcasters for everyone's watching the conference calls to the person that's a mom right now that's working is listening to it in the ear someone's listening to the replay someone bless someone else someone helps someone else let's take a minute to do that so give us the four or five steps and then you can explain them but say step one change the banner so someone write down step one what was step two I'm going to do a pre-step one. So Woo! I like that. Oh, Shucky, Shucky. She's just taking over the mic, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. That's a bad sister there. <laughs> so clarity. We all know clarity is going to be your foundation. Clarity on the core problem you solve. Um, explanation on, on the solution and the benefit to your client. So if you know that, everything else will fall into place very easy. So pre-step one. Step one, change that banner image to speak to exactly who you are as it relates to what your ideal client or ideal business owner will be looking for. Step one. Okay. Step two, make okay. sure so, that... So, so I can say it down. Step one, everyone, thanks a lot, Jarvis, for writing it down. Kimberly, thanks for writing it down. Shelly put banner. She said headline. Step one, change the banner. She gave a pre-step. Step one, change the banner. Now, now we're going to talk about how to reach clients. And the banner, once again, is the top part where she has on hers. She says, 
change it so it looks simple. Okay, go right ahead. Right. And step two, make sure that you have a front fit. It doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, you know, professional, button-up, stiff, uh, headshot photo, but make sure you have a photo where your face takes up 60% of that round circle. Okay. Yeah, instead of the full length. Step three, then you want to just have that headline that speaks uh, specifically to the problem you solve as it relates to what your ideal client wants. Ooh. And then, oh, mine is really bad. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to look at mine. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I like that you have global sales trainer because that's going to be great for the SEO part. Oh, I got um, one thing right. Yay. See, see, I told you she's a nice person. She's saying, Shay, it's okay. You got one word right. Um, <laughs> I was bragging global sales trainer when I was just a local guy. Okay. I, I get it. Um, so I would, the, the, the America's lead in sales expert, I would add something else as it speaks to the, um, you know, the, your ideal client. The, now, the, I, I'm, I'm going to hand my account over to you, Deborah. And right. they'll see whatever it looks like later. I, I'm trying to catch it all. And I'm telling you, I'm glad y'all are taking notes. I'm glad y'all are writing below. You put step two, make sure you have a face that takes 60% of the circle. So I'm a little blessed because I'm going to hand my account over to to, to, Marsh, to Deborah. And she's going to select two people. And she's going to give you some feedback on your on your um, LinkedIn profile. So go ahead and go through the steps, Deborah. Because they say I keep interrupting you. Go through the steps so they can get the steps. Let me focus the camera back on you. No. Um, because we're going to come back to what you're going to do and how you're going to change mine. Okay, the camera's back on you. Take it away. So we have step one, banner image, banner area. Step two, your, your photo, 60% of the um, circle. Um, step three is going to be that headline area that speaks directly to what you do and who you do it for and their impact. Um, step four is going to be your about section. Have the first two, the first two lines. That's all people are going to see before they make the decision whether they're going to open it up or not. And, and just for those folks that tune in, what are the first two lines of yours? Yours is back up here now. If you go down, scroll down a little bit. I just I talk about how I'm seeing changes in the so oh, the first three right uh, here about it, section. Sorry. Uh, are you are you referring to the about section down here? Yeah, the about section. Okay. So okay. the first three lines should be impactful enough that it's going to make them want to open it up just to read more. Got it. So as I speak to my ideal clients, I'm pretty much telling them I understand that. And a lot of my ideal clients, they have been amazingly successful offline um, or they have a business offline. They've worked in a, a career offline, but now they're looking to leverage the online space. So I've seen the evolution of how marketing and everything else has changed over the 20 year period. A lot of people are still behind though. They haven't caught up to how things are changing. So I know that. And so they actually repeat step three again, one more time. Step three is the headline. So the headline is going to speak specifically to what the ideal, your ideal client needs at that. It's that one nagging painful problem that probably keeps them up late at night. Mm. A lot of people that's there, if they're, business owners that are successful, probably passing that six figure mark a little bit. It's automation and systems because now they're working 24 hours a day and they're like, okay, I want to grow, but I don't want to like, my wife is like telling me if, if you don't quit this business soon, I'm going to leave you. <laughs> Not that bad, but for some people maybe. Yeah. Um, so automations and systems might, might be it for some people. You just have to figure out what that one painful problem is. That's really nagging at nagging at them. That's your head. Let's step three. I love it. So now what's step four? So step one, they wrote down clarity on a core problem. They got two, make sure you have face that takes 60%. Three, headline speaks to what you do and for who and the problem. What is step four? Four is your about section. So making sure that you're out in your about section is not necessarily about you. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, it's not about you. It's, it is about you, but you're going to position it in a way that they read it and they see themselves in it. So when I always talk about your audience and even your ideal clients, I talk about three C's, potential clients, potential collaborators, and potential champions. Ooh, that's really good. Let's say that. Okay, slow down. Someone write that right below the video. This is really important. I, I, I got to get me up here. I got to type that up myself. All right. Now, I'm serious. That was good. I mean, no, seriously. No, I'm being dead serious here. You think I'm joking. Look, 
LinkedIn is a gold mine that I know is untapped for our company. I can't speak for everyone else. I intellectually get it. I'm not doing it. And I'm making a commitment that I'm going to work with you and we're going to improve it. But I want to, on this episode, I want to make sure they get the three points. So someone write down the three P's again. Go ahead and jot it down. And Thank you, Charlene. Real life for your notes. She says she's watching right now. Thank you so much. All right, go right ahead. What are those three P's? So you have your three C's, your potential oh, three clients, C's. Okay. your potential uh, collaborators, and your potential champions. Your champions, especially when you think about it, they may not be people who work with you, but if you're looking to get into an organization and you have a profile that, let's even just say you have mentioned that you enjoy golf and you, you start connecting with someone who enjoys golf, they happen to be a VP of sales in this major organization. They're going to start making introductions for you. You couldn't have gotten in on your own, but they're going to champion and, and, and speak up for you. And they're going to get you a meeting that you desire. So those are your, those, sometimes those are more important than just even saying, I'm going to go after a client because we can call ourselves an expert all day long. But if someone else is not raw, raw in for us and they're not calling us an expert and talking about our authority, mm -hmm. then who's really going to believe you? Wow. Oh, I love that. Oh, the three C's. Karen C put three C's for sure. Tony, Tony, what's up in the house? Thank y'all all for watching. Do me a favor. Everyone look right below the video. Look right below the video and put I'm all in for LinkedIn. Put I'm all in for LinkedIn. And if you haven't put your LinkedIn profile, because Marsha can go back through here later she's going to select two people and then she's going to review their profile we're going to bring it back it's going to be a special episode we're going to bring it back don't worry but you look right below and put your linkedin profile now you're doing it for two reasons one for someone to connect with you so they can collaborate and two because you want marsha to take a look at it she might select you and say i'm gonna tell you and suggest in a one-on-one -on -one session exactly what you should be doing and i want you to be selected if you haven't put it down there look right below the video and do that right now we're going to take a break and we're going to go all the way over to phoenix over to colorado we're going over to colorado to the one and only angela tusi and angela tusi is going to talk about crafting a media pitch now you're getting linkedin ready so they can go check your facebook they can go check your instagram and now when they go check linkedin you're not out of harmony you're in sync you're in sync because Annette Smith, you're all in for LinkedIn. Yes, you're all in for LinkedIn. Karen Cherry said, I love those three C's, Deborah. Because of you, Karen Cherry. Because of you, Deborah P. Wilson. Because of the Success Women's Conference, we're having this conversation right now on a happy entrepreneur show. I'm excited. Are you excited over there? I'm excited. This is silly. I am too. All right. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. You're going to break that thing down. You're going to show me how to connect. We're going to do it real time. I'm going to say, look, we're going into my account. We're going to search for sales vice presidents or sales managers. And then she's going to tell me how to connect. And I'm going to tell her, I want to connect with other folks that are out there that are doing conferences. And you might have your own target audience. And we're going to select someone and we're going to help you out as well. We'll be back in just a moment. You're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show with none other than Deborah Ashley. She is the LinkedIn champion. She's a LinkedIn black belt. And she's just a really special, humble, kind human being. And she's been on Oprah. Anyway, we'll be right back. She's been on Oprah. We'll be right back. She don't want me to say that. But she's been on Oprah. Holla! <laughs> Oh, now I'm getting a little reaction. Oh, boy, it's about time. Gee whiz. You got to be working hard over here. We'll be back. We'll, be well, hello, happy entrepreneurs. Tribe, how you guys doing today? Angel Tussie, your media exposure specialist, bringing you part two of a three-part series of how do you create more media exposure for you and your business. It's the number one thing that is going to grow, attract more customers, attract more leads, create credibility, grow your business faster, and it's how you can leverage what I call OPP, other people's platforms. So you're not just speaking to the same audience every single week, you're growing and getting your brand out in front of even more people, getting more people to say, I've heard of you. So what's the second part? You know, we already did part one on making your wish list. Part two is we need to put together a craft of media pitch that we can send to this wish list. And this media pitch is not a sales pitch. You have to take your sales hat off and put your publicity hat on. I'm wearing my publicity hat today and my happy entrepreneur tribe hat. But how do you create a pitch, a media pitch that you can send out to create even more exposure, get the media to fall in love with you? There's three parts to this media story. The first one is why you. 
Why would I interview you? So think of the three juiciest things that make you a unicorn and make you exceptional in this space. The second one is why now? What's going on in the world and what trends can you follow that you can do what we call newsjacking that you can reach out to the media with? And then the third part is what's the big impact? Instead of you selling, what impact are you going to make to their audience and in the world by them featuring you on their platform? Why you? Why now? What's the big idea? Put that into three to six sentences and you've got your makings for an incredible media pitch. My name's Angel Tussie, your media exposure specialist. This is part two of a three-part series. Go and make it a great day. Make it a great day indeed. You're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. And we are super excited because we're on a mission to provide busy entrepreneurs with the resources and the money that they need in their business to support the vision for the people they were called to serve. And Deborah showed up to make that a reality today. There are some episodes where we focus on results in your life, and that is so important. And then there's other episodes we focus on results in your bank account. If that's you right now, you're ready for some results in your bank account, you're ready to connect with a new audience, look right below the video and just write these words, ching, ching, that's me. <laughs> right, that's ching, me. ching, that's me. Now, why do, would you write ching, ching, that's me? Because you know that this is your year. You know this is your month. You know this is your time. So you're writing ching, ching, it's me because it's not about the money. It's about the meaning you're going to have in the world when you get the money. So look right below the video in all seriousness and just write these words. Ching, ching, that's me. Just put ching, ching, that's me. And the reason I bring it up is that I know you're on a mission um, Deborah, to, to help a hundred women really do something special. Take take a moment, if you will, and talk a little about that mission that you're on for your company, because I think that's so important, and it's a part of your bio, it's a part of what you do, and I want you to take a minute or two and just kind of talk about that, because that really frames the type of person that you are. Everyone, make sure you connect with Tanya Pickett. She put her LinkedIn profile. Connect with Charles Nicholas. He put his down. Connect with Kim Warren Martin. She put three parts to the pitch. Why you, why now, and what's the impact? So true. All right, what's this wonderful thing you're trying to do in the world, by the way, helping 100 women? And this is something I'm so excited about. Over the next 12 months, I want to help 100 female founders get to a level of wealth where, as a collective, we're all giving back $1 million, not just as a collective, $1 million to an organization, charity, school, whatever we decide. I just want to be the, I want this to be about giving back as a collective, because as a collective, we can do some big things. And we can do, we can do things by ourselves too, but I think as a collective, the impact is that much greater. Now, I agree. When you have more money, you can just have more meaning. And if you want to make a dollar and a difference, like Patsy, she put ching, ching, that's me. Tanya Pickett put ching, ching, that's me. Charles, real life, realtor for life put ching ching that's me for sure kim warren martin said ching ching that's me look the reason i asked you to do that not just because it's about the money because i know many of you want to have more impact and linkedin is going to help all of us reach more people here's what i like to do um i wasn't going to do it but i want to take a moment and slow down and we'll speed up and one of my favorite segments and for all the new folks this segment is very important. It's called the Champions Creed. And I love the Champions Creed because we don't think about ourselves. We don't focus on our own bank account. We support and we encourage another entrepreneur. We're like in this marathon race. And I run five marathons where people are running by us. We're on the sidelines and we've got the water and the Gatorade. And we're getting them high fives and we're cheering them on and we're telling them they can go, go, go. That's what this is about. So I'm going to share with you words that was given to me by my mentor 15 years ago. And I've shared these words and I've said them almost every day to encourage me, to inspire me, to uplift me. And now I share it with the happy entrepreneur family. So here's how it works. You follow along with the words. And then I want you to write right below the video. I want you to encourage someone else. And you're going to write this so important. I want you to put you are a champion. Hashtag keep going. So you're not saying you, you're saying you are a champion and you are a champion and you are a champion and you're going to encourage them to keep on going. So you write, you are a champion, write in the comments, write in the notes, put you are a champion, 
hashtag keep on going. Now, why do you write those words? You're going to encourage someone else. When you see those words, here's how you participate. All my new folks, for my folks that watch every single evening, you notice one of my favorite episodes, our favorite segments, you hit the heart button. You hit the like button. We're going to encourage someone else. Let me bring up the Champions Creed, and then I'm going to ask the one and only herself, when I finish reading it, if she will go back and read the Champions Creed, and then maybe she'll share what it means to be a champion. Maybe a time in her life where there was a challenge. There was a setback and she had to apply some principles to turn it all around. What lessons did she learn? All right. All right. So let's go here. Let me go here. They can pull it up for you. All right. Here it is. The Champions Creed. You look right below the video and put you are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. Zena Morris, I see you. You are a champion. Here is the Happy Entrepreneurs Champions Creed. It's my favorite part. I love this part. I love this part. I am not judged by the number of times I fail. Come on, somebody. But by the number of times I succeed. How true. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. Everyone look right below the video right now. You look right below the video. And I just want you to write these words. You are a champion. Encourage another entrepreneur. Encourage another single mom. Encourage a single dad. Encourage someone right now that's doing really, really well. And they're like, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed because I'm doing well. Let them know to keep on going. Or that person that just lost a major client didn't get the contract. It didn't work out for them. You write these words. You are a champion. Hashtag keep on going and then someone hit the heart button someone hit the like button okay will you do me a favor deborah will you read those words i'm gonna put them up there and when you finish talk about what it means to be a champion to someone like tanya pickett who put you are a champion rain put you are a champion lewis bernard put you are a champion charles put you are a champion April put you are a champion. Kim Warren Martin, I can't get everybody said you are a champion. Annette said you are a champion. They're right. And Tony, Tony said you are a champion. Hashtag what? Keep on going. Let me bring this up. Let me bring this up. We got to get going. We got to get going. All right. Can you see those words? Can you see those words? Yes, I can see it. All right. Take it away. Read it, read it, read it. I am not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep going. And keep going and keep going. You have you gotta put the you gotta put the Puff Daddy remix version on it. And, and keep, keep going. going. And, and keep, keep going. There you go. And there you go. Oh, you got a little and rhythm over there. Tampa has a little rhythm. I thought you was from New York, New York. So nice to name it twice. You're going to have a little rhythm. Come on, somebody. Okay. <laughs> and all seriousness, because you are a champion. This is my favorite segment. Take a moment and talk about what it means to be a champion. And then maybe t tell us a time, if you want to, where things didn't go right. People think your life is perfect, by the way. But things didn't go right. And what lesson did you learn to turn it around? Take it away. And as you do that, Sandy Sanders says, you are a champion. Um, Rain says, I could, use, I could use this right now. Thank you so much. Take it away. Well, it was that, it's that, always that crushing first year of business. When I first left my position, I remember one thing my manager said to me. And it was almost like she would say, and I didn't know about these things until I came online, these little snarky remarks. Well, if things don't work out, you can always come back. So my first year of business, I couldn't figure it out. Like I, I thought I could figure it out on my, on my own. I couldn't figure it out. I was having a really hard time, although it, it, you know, I showed up and it, it looked like I had everything figured out. I didn't, I didn't have any clients. Um, and I, you know, I had to keep going. And there was a, I was at a point where I, I went back and I visited my company and I was at a point that I was ready to give everything up and, and go back because it was a lot easier to go back and, you know, do the work and, and, and be focused on what I already knew than to figure out something new. But then thank God that nagging um, thing came back into my mind where she was like, if it doesn't work out, you can always give up. And I didn't give up. Um, I found my way from LinkedIn to, sorry, from Instagram to Facebook to LinkedIn. And although I did very well on Facebook and I loved what I was doing on Facebook, in, uh, LinkedIn speaks to me. Like LinkedIn is the place where I know that I can impact the most people. And I know that there's a lot of people who are not already on LinkedIn who could see a change in their life if they join. So LinkedIn is what speaks to me. And I'm glad that I didn't give up. 
you know what? I'm so glad you didn't give up. I'm so glad you kept on going because had you given up, we wouldn't be talking to you right now. Had you given up, we wouldn't have this conversation. Someone do me a favor as you're watching, as you're listening. Hit the share button. You have her permission, Deborah's permission, to pay this message for it. Yeah, she's getting ready to unleash the beast, as they say. She's getting mm-hmm. ready to pull back the big black curtain, and she's going to show you how to connect with people on LinkedIn. We were playing around at the beginning, but she's about to get down, by the way. She's about to get down. But she said it was okay. She didn't ask me for a cash app. She didn't ask me for a credit card before we got started. She just said it's okay. Hit the share button. Hit the share button. And as you hit the share button, hit, hit the share button, just put I'm all in for LinkedIn because it's going down right now. Hit the share button. Hit the share button. Hit the share button right now. Pay this message forward on your page. She said you can pay this message to your community. Is that correct? They can pay this message into a Facebook group they're in. Although she gets paid to share this, she's going to share it right now and she's not holding back. Is that correct? Correct. And if someone's watching, what's one of the reasons they should hit the share button? Why should they pay this for so someone else can benefit? I am going to show you something that other people most likely have never showed you before, a strategy that will bring in conversations when ordinarily most people would probably ignore you. So I'm going to show you something a lot different. (laughs) Say that one more time so they can hear it. Just one more time. I will show you something that I know easily. I will show you something that no one else has shared or shown before. Instead of you trying to reach out and connect with someone with total strangers who don't know you, I'm going to show you a way to get in front of them. So when you do have the conversations or they're going to reach out to you, they're going to be so interested in you. They're going to reach out to you. Or if you do reach out to connect, they're immediately going to say yes. I didn't know she was going to do this. So seriously, I had no idea. Now, I can't wait. I can't wait. Someone do me a favor. Let's, let's give her a warm, let's give her a digital applause, even for saying that. I didn't know that. I really didn't. So let's give her a digital applause. How do you give Deborah a digital applause? First, hit the share button. Hit the share button. Hit the share button. It says, I'm all in for LinkedIn. Just hit the share button. After you hit the share button, look right below the video. Look right below the video. And let's give Deborah a digital applause. Give her, say, great job, Deborah. Write in the comments below. We appreciate you, Deborah. Or Deborah, you're doing well. Or Deborah, you look fabulous. You know, before we get started, they're always looking at their hair and testing all this <laughs> stuff out and saying, is this okay? You look great. You look fabulous. So someone look right below the video and just say, thank you, Debbie, for spending time with us. Say, thank you, Debbie, for your golden nuggets. So say, Debbie, you are awesome. Or Debbie, you are amazing. Let's go ahead and show her a little love right below the video. So just like Annette put, show me, show me, show me. Rain hit, clap, 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 clap. Hit thank you. We appreciate you because when we come back in just a moment, it's going down. She's going to show you something that no one's showing you before on LinkedIn. How people will contact you and you don't have to worry about contacting them. Look, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. It's going down. Marsha says, I appreciate you. Karen said, thank you so much. Cynthia said, you are awesome. Karen Cherry has shared the video once again because you are a rock star and is just really shaking it up. So with that being said, I want to say thank you so much. Boundless Lola says, I'm all in for LinkedIn. Patsy said, great job by the rain. Rain said, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tony says, you look amazing. Great job. Oh, you throwing it up. You throwing it down, girl. You putting it down. You putting it down. You are indeed putting it down. April says, Debbie, you're awesome. Can't wait to hear the tip. That's their cue to say, Shay, get going. All right, we're going to go first go down to Raleigh, North Carolina. We're going to connect with none other than Dr. Connect Thigpen, and she's going to talk about accountability matters. And then when we come back, well, it all goes down. This is the moment you've really been waiting for, in all seriousness. You don't want to miss this. Hit the share button. All right, Dr. Connect down in Raleigh, North Carolina. Take it away. Take it away. Take it away. Hello, it's your girl, Dr. Kenneth Thigpen, also known as Dr. K, founder of Rise Women's Network. And Rise Women's Network is pleased to present to you, hashtag next sister up. I'm with you in the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe, and today is my January 1st. Here's your thought of the week. Accountability matters. Yes, accountability matters. Accountability is accepting responsibility for your actions and being willing to be answerable to the outcomes of the choices, decisions, and actions that you have taken. You see, one of the first forms of accountability that I can think of was the buddy system. Who remembers the buddy system? 
Yes, when you had a buddy system back in school, the teacher assigned someone to you or you paired up with someone and what they did was they helped to make sure that you were on track. They checked in with you to make sure that you were on task and that you were following instructions. And they also ensured that you were safe. Now it's the same thing in business and in life. Accountability is just as important as it was then as it is now. So accountability is a chance for us to check in with the progress that we're making on our journey. What's working and what's not? It's a chance for us to check in on the targets of meeting our goals. You know, are we close to meeting our goals? Are we meeting the target check-in points? And it's also a chance for us to ensure that we're receiving some type of a support or guidance. Ultimately, accountability is a chance for us to accelerate our performance. It keeps us engaged and it keeps us responsible. I challenge you to ensure that you're being super de duperty, totally accountable to yourself and to the goals that you have set for yourself. Because accountability is a difference between super successful people and mediocre people. My name is Dr. K. Make it a great day. Accountability matters. Accountability matters. Accountability matters. You're here watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show. Everyone give it up for none other than Dr. Connect because accountability matters, by the way. It really does. Let's go over now to the brilliant one, the bold one, the bright one, uh, the one that was an Oprah. Okay, okay. She got Oprah by then. She got to put a little Oprah emblem on her on her LinkedIn profile. And now she's going to share that secret that I didn't know. And it's a secret that we've been waiting for. So go ahead. Um, tell us what you're going to tell us. Tell us what we should expect and then walk us through it. Okay. So um, what we can do is we can go in your profile and do a, a quick demonstration. Okay. Okay. So ho hold on. Let me let me let me have them pull my profile up. So we're going to go there now. They're now going here. And we'll search for a particular person. If you want to, um, I would instead of VP of Sales right now, I would recommend a business development manager or business development director. Okay. That, that's fine. I'm I'm open. So I got to view my profile. Do I have it up now. Can you see it? Yes. And then in that search bar, if you just type in business development, uh, no, hold on. so I go here. And, mm -hmm. Business. Uh, hold on, let me, let me move this type over so I can get it. Okay, hold on. Okay, now let me test my typing skills. Business <laughs> development manager. Manager, yes. Hit enter. Yes. Okay, I've never done this before. This would be interesting. Okay. So what what you're doing here, you're pretty much bringing up every single person that has either had a title of business development manager or they have a current, they have, or they're currently in the business development um, field. Um, oh. This is another great way to, if you're in the event space where you can maybe get some sponsors. So oh, I love it. Then we're going to go, we're going to see all the way across the top. I'm gonna, I was going to point with my fingers. But if you go all the way across the top where you see people, jobs, content, more. Yes. You're going to see um, company. Okay. So you want, so you want, me, to, want me to click more? Uh, no. Yeah. yeah, And then, yes. And Companies. then you and you can make a decision. Is there a particular company that you nope, hey, make? Nope. I just, I just want to go through the exercise. This is cool. Hit companies. Yeah. Companies. All right. Because really I'd, I'd work with entrepreneurs, but I just want to go through it just for here for the purpose of it. Okay. All right, so um, do me a favor. Go back. A We're going to go back to the different area. If there's a different uh, company area that you can go to. Go here? Oh, yeah, no. if, you, if you go, uh, just your back um, button. Okay. Okay, I take my back button. And I go oh. business development manager again? Yeah, business development manager. And then you, there, you're going to see the block that says companies. We're going to hit that one. That's about it, right? Okay. Oh, I feel like I'm under pressure. Okay. <laughs> and then hit which, which one? Um, all the way across towards your right side, you're going to see a square that says company. Okay, hold on. Uh, right after date, yeah. Right here. Oh, company right here, yes. Right, and you're going to go, you're going to arrow down. Okay. And let's just do Coca-Cola, the Coca-Cola company. It's large enough that someone's going to be um, on there. Okay. Consolidated, I go to the consolidated company? Uh, United the States? Business, uh, do you mind typing in company so it can, it can bring up the, 
Coca-Cola Bottling Company, I think. Them, the, exactly. Yeah, there we go. So now it's going to bring up all your... And then hit apply? Apply, mm-hmm. Wow, okay. Okay. And then we're going to go up to alt filters, if you go all the way up to the top. Okay. Where it says company, jobs, oh, all filters, okay. After experience level, all filters. Okay. And then click it? Yeah, click it. <laughs> I'm so nervous, like, click it? Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. So now what you're going to do, oh, you're, how did you get into job filters? Let me show you, I'll show you a different way. I'll show you an easier way. Okay. This was easy, but I'll show you an easier way. Okay. So what we're should gonna, I do? We're going to go back into that I, that LinkedIn logo. Right, click here? Yeah. Click LinkedIn here. logo? Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. And then let's do business. We're going to do business development manager again, but then this time we're going to click people. And, and, and for, people. Yeah, people instead of jobs. Okay. Oh, this and is cool. I won't. We're not gonna. We're not going to just stick with Coca Cola. So let's let's hit Michael Bing. Maybe you want to connect with him, but let's do this first. Let's hit Michael Bing and check him out a little bit. Okay. Michael Bing, small business yeah. development manager, at the District of Columbia Department of Small Business. I think I know him. Right here, oh, area. Wow. So we're gonna scroll all the way down. What we're looking for at this point, we're going to see if he posts at all on LinkedIn. It looks like he does, but I don't think he posts a lot because he doesn't have, it just says he has articles. Okay. But let's go ahead and do see all. Where's, where's see all at? Uh, right below where we saw the articles. Okay. See all. Yeah, okay. see all. Mm-hmm. So, this, so this, this is showing us all of his articles, all his postings? Yeah, all of his. And if you go to his post, I'm just going to give you an example. This is not, he's not going to be, uh, if okay. you can go to post. Post, okay. All right, three months ago, let's pretend it's he's been doing this all week. What you're gonna do, if he's been posting every single day, you're gonna go down and you're gonna like his post, and based on what he has written, you're gonna you're gonna put something that's very um, not just, oh, fabulous, thank you for sharing that. You're gonna you're gonna put something very insightful and informative as it relates to what he wrote. Okay, so I'll put mentors are great. Mentors are very helpful, and it's even better when you can hang out with them in person. Hang out with them in person. Uh, thanks for sharing your in. Thanks. For but it, the, the- when you say after in person, I'm going to give you an extra little clue, an extra little trick so that he the conversation starts. Okay. Don't you agree? Question. Oh, okay. Oh, question. Don't you agree? Oh, you're brilliant. But you're doing at Michael, so it it it, it, it pings him. You see how you have fifty thousand notifications? Who I have fifty thousand notifications. I'm exaggerating. You have eighty five. Oh, yeah, I haven't looked at this thing. Uh, so it pings him that you just left him a message. You can choose, obviously, it was something from three months ago, but he, now he's going to, now you're kind of getting into his space, right? Yes. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah, I would make a list of your top 20 people that you want to kind of get into their space. And every single, like I said, 45 minutes a day, that's all you need. Make a list of 20 people, like their post, leave a very insightful message where they're going to agree, you know, they're going to reply back to you. Michael may say, well, I'm not sure because sometimes my mentees, they get on my nerves. They won't say that, but um, at least, you know, you have a conversation. So you're going to do that for at least three days. By the third day, now you're going to send him a connection request and you can say, Michael, hey, I, I really enjoyed this conversation with ha- we're having. Love to connect. Ah, so basically I'm having a conversation first before I reach out to actually connect with him. Yes, and now but you and you've developed a special relationship with him beforehand. Ah. If you just do it right away, you're a total stranger. Why should he connect with you? Because every single person wants to connect with him at this point because he is like the top guy at let's just make it up at Coca-Cola. Right. However, if you're having conversations with him daily or if you're sharing his work or if you are um, you know, you create a post and you you say um, 
I was just reading a post by Michael Bing about how mentors are special. And this is my take on it, blah, 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 blah. And you, you tag him. Now you're in his world. You're sharing his work. You're making him look brilliant. And it feels good. I got you. So what this did is this, this brought all the business development managers in Washington, D.C. Yeah. Got you. Got you. Ah, this is good. This is good. And you can do the same, same thing with sales directors, sales managers. And what I would, I would focus on, I would focus on the people who are, because everyone has clearly a, a profile. Not a lot of people are active. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you could have, you know, maybe 12 people within a company that you could reach out to, but you want to focus on the ones since you have 45 minutes a day, you want to focus on the ones that are active on the platform. Eventually they're going to, and you're, what you're going to see, and I'll show you how to uh, check that out if you want to, um, yeah, yeah, show me how to check out. Cause obviously I'm not active up here with 99. I don't know if this is connections. I'm going to send this. I'll see you my username and password. It is connections. Yeah. What is this notifications? Oh. That means um, every single person, either in your network but that's been having conversations or they've mentioned you. Yeah, I see this. So you see Rebecca. Now you're going to say, wow, Rebecca keeps mentioning me or Amy keeps mentioning. I know Amy was on your show the other day. Yeah. So now, but you see her face all the time. So that oh, guy. Oh, so, so they were actually mentioning me on LinkedIn. I'm looking at Facebook, but they're on LinkedIn and I wasn't even checking it. Right. Oh. But if you were a regular. And what is, and what is this, my, my network? Every single person. Oh, Kim Warren Martin. I feel bad. I haven't accepted you. She's a great friend. I mean, she's watching now too. Okay, Kim, I will accept you. Who is and this guy? The top, ones, the top ones are the um. He, he's probably watching too. The top ones are the most recent ones. Okay. How can you how can you tell they're recent? The top. So you're gonna you have 104. The ones towards the bottom, they probably sent you requests like months ago. Oh, okay. Now, oh. Denise did it correct. She sent you a note in addition, not just connecting with you. Great to meet you on Amy Walker Sales. Oh, so she was watching the webinar and sent me a note. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Oh, wow. Right. So now you're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I see the connection. I'm going to say yes. Versus some, some other people like, I, don't, my, I hope Weston's not watching, but Weston, I probably, I would just press ignore. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I go back through this. These people, Amy yeah. Walker, let me know. I got to accept Amy's. I feel bad. Okay, so <laughs> oh, Lindsay, I know Lindsay. She was on our show. Okay, so I'll go through this later. Oh my God, I, I'm gonna send this to you. This is a lot. This is good okay. though because I got to respond now. What is this thing here? I, this has nothing to do with what we're talking about. I know you have a whole presentation, so I'm just taking you off whack. But what no, is no. this? Try Pre free, try premium. Free oh free I always like free stuff. Let's see what this is. What is this? It's good. Now, you don't necessarily have to use it, but if you do choose premium uh, for oh. one to free, use Sales Navigator. You're going to see almost immediately every single person who's posted in the last thirty days. Plus, you can filter like if you're looking for a specific company, and say you want to do business development or sales for a company that's only making between ten million to fifty million. You can just choose those people. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna come back to that. That's a topic for another time. I didn't even know. How how much is it after that? Do you know? Um, it's seventy nine. Well, if you want to pay a year, but I pay sixty nine ninety nine a month, so seventy four with tax. It's worth it. I mean, if you're pay if you get you know a, a ten thousand dollar client and you pay seventy four dollars a month, then yeah. If I got a hundred dollar client, I'd be happy as long as it's paying for it. Yeah, you. I right. pay for it anyway. I mean, I don't know what I'm whining about over here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because, you know, I always tell people that the, the, the number one challenge that business owners have today is lost leads. Um, they just don't, they're not getting in front of people. And then the second challenge they have is talking to unqualified people because they right. hadn't had a chance to really get in front of them and see what they do. This is so amazing. This is so incredible. You know, when we come back, I want to learn a little more about why you do what you do and get one more golden nugget. We're going to bring you back. But I, I want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take a commercial. When we come back, we're going to be talking to the one and only. And she's in double overtime now, by the way. Um, but the one and only. And I'm going to ask her, you know, why does she do what she does? Like, why does she do this? That's very important. And we'll go rapid fire with a few other questions. You're here with none other than Deborah Ashley, by the way. She's like the super duper incredible woman and a great human being as it relates to LinkedIn. And we're going to go over now. And I think they're taking us down to none other. Oh, sorry, no, we're going down back to Raleigh, North Carolina with none other than Letitia Nicole, who will be talking about mindset matters. Mindset matters. Two people in Raleigh, North Carolina, both saying 
One said accountability matters. The other says mindset matters. This is very important because I want you to have the right mindset that you can learn LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a learned skill. You can use it as a new tool to take you to places you have not been, meet new people you have not met, and get into new networks that are waiting for you. Someone has the goal of finding you right now on LinkedIn, and you are going to help them find you. Why? Because you got Deborah Ashley over there, and that's what she does. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey, everybody. It's your girl, Letitia Nicole. And yes, I am here in this amazing group with the happy entrepreneurs, and I have a thought of the week. But before I begin my thought of the week, I want to say thank you so much to Shay Brown for this amazing group with all of these amazing entrepreneurs. Hey, thank you so much, okay? So today is my January 1st, and to my thought of the week for you guys is, listen, yes, I am in a whole food store with amazing people, right? Looking for whole food to put into their body. The reason why I'm telling you this, because it matters. It matters what we put in our body because whatever you put in, you're going to get out. Same thing for your business. Whatever you put into your business, you're going to get out. So mindset management matters, just like the management for whatever we put in our gut, whatever we put in our body is what you get out, okay? So what I'm telling you, mindset management matters. Pay attention to what you're allowing to come in because that's what's going to go out. And to your clients, it's going to go out. It's going to go out. It's going to go out. Please remember, whatever you put in, it's going to come out. You guys, my name is Letitia Nicole. And until next time, make sure you manage what goes into your mind because mindset management matters. All right? Be blessed. All right. Be blessed. Someone say mindset matters. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write those words. Mindset matters. I want to shift your mindset as it relates to LinkedIn. And for some of you, I know it's uncomfortable, like it's uncomfortable for me. But one of the things that I know is that it's within my grasp. It may be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's within my grasp. Uh, Deborah, just rapid fire if we can. Um, uh, tell me, what's your big why? Like, like, why do you do this? You can pick a lot of things to do with the skill set you have, but why have you decided to help entrepreneurs and many folks across this world in the area of LinkedIn? Well, my bigger why is definitely helping people who look like me who have always been overlooked and undervalued for one reason or another. We know we, a lot of us know the reason. So it's about making sure that their brilliance is being shown and people, and maybe, you know, everyone has their crowd, right? So maybe the people they're in front of right now are not appreciating and understanding and celebrating their brilliance, but if they put themselves out there to the right crowd, they will find their crowd that will celebrate them. So that's really my job is to get them in front of the right people. Sure. It makes sense. What does Deborah do for fun? I mean, when you're not out playing around on LinkedIn and jumping around the internet, what do you do for fun? Well, I actually paint, which is interesting. So I paint. Um, I've recently gotten into this exciting thing of making my own uh, hair care products. So when I'm bored, that's what I do. Um, and, that's, and hang out with friends. I'm a foodie, so I love to try different restaurants throughout the Tampa Bay area, too. So. Wow. What's your, what's your favorite food? I, I love Thai food, by the way. It's one of the things I just love to do. But what's one of your favorite foods? My favorite food, definitely Thai food. I have Thai food Tuesdays. Every single day I go into the, not every single, every single Tuesday I go to the same Thai place. And of course, Jamaican food. I like spicy. So um, Caribbean food, Thai is a favorite too. Makes sense. You're from New York, New York. Um, <laughs> <laughs> where, do, where, do you, where do you find your best content even post on LinkedIn? Well, here's the interesting thing. And I never, I used to have a hard time with content. Um, for example, let's, well, I think James Bing was his name. Yes. When I reply to people and when I engage with people, I automatically come up with content that way. So here's another little tip of now you can write about who your favorite mentor with, was and how they impacted your life. Um, that's a piece of content that you can put out there. Something that people, LinkedIn people love. Anything that does, that has to do with culture, that has to do with mentorship, that has to do with elevating others. So I typically just get my content from um, hanging out and having conversations with people and then things that I deal with in my everyday life. I don't make it too hard. Um, I make it what, what's relatable to others. 
Yeah, what's, what's one of the lessons you've learned from one of your mentors along your journey that you could share with us? That maybe that mentor left you a lesson as it relates to business. Maybe it was related to your personal life, but uh, share a lesson from one of your mentors and, um, that we could use. Definitely. Yeah, one thing that it's, it's still a work in progress, but I'm, I'm doing very well. It's about tooting my own horn. Because if I am not able to toot my own horn, then like I mentioned before, no one will even know I exist. Um, there is one, I can't remember her name, a very popular executive um, who said, people didn't know my name by staying silent. They, knew, they know my name because I told them my name. So it goes into this whole conversation that if you don't tell people your name and you don't tell them what you do and you don't tell them why you're the obvious choice, they'll never know. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so true and so very, very important, by the way. Thanks a lot for sharing. I appreciate that. Any good books you've read recently, by the way? I always, I'm always curious, like, what's a book someone has read or has recently read that, that you may want to share with us, by the way? And what's one of the lessons that we can take away from it? Well, one thing that I'm reading now, I'm very much into meditation and attempting to, I, I've always been a, a personal development um, type of person from the time I was little. Um, and I'm now understanding this whole concept that we are truly limitless. If we put our mind to it and if we really want something and we have the right mindset that we'll get it. So I'm reading um, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself is Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, he talks about, he has a very young daughter and he talks about uh, this whole ritual and practice that she went through where she was like, I want $10,000. She says, I want a shopping spree. So I want a shopping spree with a lot of money, her version of a lot of money. I want um, a trip somewhere. And she pretty much manifested it within a few days. So he's going through the whole process of undoing everything that we've been told, even through society or growing up or anything else, and creating a mind that allows us to be truly limitless. I love it. I love it. What, what goes through your mind? I'm curious. When you send out, you said it's been 45 minutes a day and you write people. And you write these personal notes, as you said, which takes time to write. Mm -hmm. And um, no one responds. Like you get the next morning so excited and you keep checking the button and there's no response. Or you do like you did for Shay Brown. You sent me a LinkedIn request. I didn't even go look at the LinkedIn and it sits there ignored. Now, I, you know, I just want to know what kind of goes through your mind. How do you process something like that when you have that? You have so many of them out there. Well, it used to bother me, you know, this is before, like, I've, I'm a clearly a different person. Since I started my entrepreneurial journey, I have experienced an amazing amount of growth. Um, so initially, I would take it personal, and I would, it, it would easily want, make me want to give up. But if I'm not getting at least 10 no's a day, then I'm clearly not doing the work. So um, I, just, I just keep it moving. Yeah, it's not a big deal to me at all. Yeah, I love that. I love that. What, what keeps you going? Um, what's an affirmation that you use? I mean, everyone has affirmation, but those folks that are out there, if you have an affirmation that you use, look below the video and share your affirmation. But I'm, I guess the question I have is, what keeps you going? Um, what, what keeps you inspired? How do you keep that energy going up day in and day out so you can be consistent? Uh, besides uh, knowing that I'm going to have a, a mansion on the beach. <laughs> besides that. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Just being able to leave a legacy, like I look at these, and it's, it's, it's coming out a lot more now, I look at these black women, and even when you think about Michael Jordan yesterday, um, it was announced that he opened up a, um, is it a healthcare center for yeah. people who are uninsured? Yeah. So just being able to accumulate a level of wealth where I can do something like that. So I'm not sure what my something will be yet, but... I will be doing it on my house on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That, would, that would keep me motivated as well. Look, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, you listen to none other than the one and only Deborah Ashley. And when we come back, I'm going to ask her to give her her closing comments or closing thoughts when we come back in just a moment. Um, she's a LinkedIn person. Um, let me ask you first, how can they connect with you? I know we're going to pick two winners and we're going to go back through the feed. So everyone has to at least write down. I'll put down your LinkedIn profile so you can click on it when she has time to go through it. We're going to pick out two winners. Um, she's also uh, going to be working with me. So what you see today was not what you're going to see 30 days from now. Shouldn't take us that long, but we'll see what she says. Um, and we're going to have her back on the show. Um, but tell them how they can connect with you first, by the way. 
Well, clearly they can connect with me straight on Facebook. If you're on LinkedIn, just do hashtag. We didn't even cover that, but hashtags are very important if you want to customize um, um, what you put out there. You can look on the hashtag, the LinkedIn black belt. You're going to find all of my content. So you can follow along. I share a lot of LinkedIn tips. Um, also, I have a self-assessment. If you want to uh, do a, a checklist of what your profile should look like, I have a, a, a text. If you want to text the word LinkedIn to 77948, you can do your own self-audit. Um, it'll have a checklist of all the little things that you should have on your profile and it's going to score you from, I believe it's one to eight. And I, I'm pretty straight up. So I'll let you know how you're showing up on LinkedIn if you take that little assessment. But it's 77948, and you just text the word LinkedIn. Use the word LinkedIn. I love it. I love it. Kim Warren Martin, who we're actually going to be going to down in Little Rock, Arkansas. We go to our commercial coming up, by the way. It's ironic. She just posted in the group that she just finished reading that book, by the way, and she loves the book. So you're not alone. Ah, there's someone else like you. When we come back, everyone, you're watching the Happy Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country. And when we come back, we'll be finishing up, wrapping up with none other than Deborah Ashley. We're now going down to Little Rock, Arkansas to connect with none other than Dr. Kim Warren Martin. And you know what she says? Success is an inside job. Yeah. Let's go connect with her. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey there, happy entrepreneurs. Today is my January 1st. This is Dr. Kim Warren Martin, founder of Successful and Fulfilled. And this week, we're continuing with part two of the thought that success is an inside job. In this series, we're talking about what's going on on the inside of you, mentally, physically, spiritually, uh, socially, and financially. So today, let's talk about what's going on in your mind. Did you know that wherever you are in life, your mind got there first? And that's because everything begins with a thought. Research shows we have from 12,000 to 70,000 thoughts a day, that 90% of them are the same thoughts, and 70% of them, get this, are negative. Since we all have some negative beliefs, rewiring your thoughts can get your mind from where you are to where you want to be first. And this is something you can begin to work on now. So here are three steps to help you get going. First, become aware of what you think about in the car, in the shower, or even in conversation with friends. Start to be aware of the thoughts that are going through your mind. Second, once you're aware of your thoughts, start questioning them. Ask yourself, is that really true? According to whom? Where did that belief even come from and why do I believe it? What would life be like if I didn't believe that? Third, quickly change any negative or limiting thoughts. So think of a positive belief you want instead. Typically something opposite of the negative belief. Write it down so you can say it to yourself daily and begin to root that belief in your subconscious mind. And soon you'll see that you have switched that old thought or belief with the new one. This is Dr. Kim Warren Martin, founder of Successful and Fulfilled, urging you to think about what you think about and don't believe everything you think. Be sure to join me next week for part three of the thought that success is an inside job. Until then, make it a great day and a prosperous week. Back over to you, Shay. Make it a great day and a prosperous week. I like that. Make it a great day and a prosperous week because success indeed is a what? Inside job. Someone look right below the video and say success is inside job. And it's on you to do that. You know, we're coming down the home stretch. We're about to wrap up. But I'm, I'm just curious, um, Deborah, when you hear the word success, what does success mean to you? It means joy. It means freedom. It means being happy to help people who I want to help. I love it. And and how does how does Deborah want to be remembered? You know, the hourglass is draining on all of us and at some point we're gonna get our wings and move on. How do you want people to remember Deborah Ashley? Let's see. I want them to remember me as someone who um, gave back, someone who was um, just excited about and passionate about the work that I did. And I'm I'm that person now, so I know that you know, if anything happens, I'll always be remembered as that person. But just being able to give back um, without expecting anything in return. Sure. And what do what quality do you most admire in people? 
So if you had to pick out, there's a lot of qualities people have, but what's one quality that you admire in another person and why? Let's see, that's a great question. I admire someone who can, who loves to empower others. Um, you know, I have, I have a few favorites, but a lot of people know that Oprah is my favorite. And the reason she's my favorite is because in, her, in the simplest way possible, um, she's able to empower a lot of different people. So without really trying, without, you know, uh, putting on um, airs, um, just someone who is who's open to empowering others is, is someone I truly admire. Yeah, well, I want to say one thing. I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for, for being on the show. We want to invite you back. Thank you. <laughs> I know you're going to select two people that you're going to send a note to, and you're going to do a, a LinkedIn review with them and have a conversation. So you're going to help two of you who took time to look right below the video and post that. She's going to do that. Here's what I'd like for you to do as an audience. And then we're going to have her have her final comments. I'd like for you to share your number one takeaway because your big takeaway, your number one takeaway could be someone else's big breakthrough. Let me say that again. Your takeaway, your number one takeaway could be someone else's big breakthrough. So here's how you can participate. We are a tribe at the Happy Entrepreneurs. We support each other. We love on each other. You can look right below the video, and I know some of you made comments earlier and some of you were typing. We appreciate every single one of the comments. We appreciate every single one of the shares. We appreciate you showing up. We know that you can always make more money, but you can't make more time. So we want this to always be a good use of your time. So look right below the video, look right below the video and post, my number one takeaway is blank. My number one takeaway is blank. My big idea is blank. My aha is blank. And just go ahead and write that down so you can bless someone else. Someone else will see the notes and these, these videos often go viral and I get it, your notes go with the video, but I wanna, I wanna pay it forward to someone else So we're gonna help someone else. So with that being said, once again, Deborah, let me say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I would like for you to go ahead and take a moment and uh, share your final thoughts, um, your, your final comments for the entrepreneur, um, the speaker, the author, the coach, the brick and mortar, small business owner, and the person out there just has big dreams. They want to improve their life. They want to improve their business. They want to serve so big. I know it's a tall order, but take a few minutes and just share your comments with everyone. And again, thank you so much. You rock. You're amazing. and You're super incredible. Thanks for being on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. Thank you. And thanks so much for having me, Shay. Thanks for everyone watching, everyone who, uh, participated because I really appreciate all of your love and everything you're doing. So the one big takeaway, um, and Shay takes his time every single night and does his show. My one big takeaway and my one big ask of you is just to take action. You have the entire week. If you could just go in, change your banner, change your headline, change your photograph if that's if those are the only three things you can do this week go ahead and do it um for someone who's thinking of giving up um give yourself until at least the next 90 days put a strategy in place and focus on that strategy for the next 90 days and you're going to watch how things change another big thing not only strategy but of course do some mindset work and one if you don't have already have the book Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself by Dr. Joe Dispenza is going to be an amazing book for you so if there's anyone that needs help with uh, mindset, with strategy, um, I've given you a lot to work through today, but definitely work on the mindset piece too if you're thinking about giving up. And what's the name, what's, what's name of the book again? Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Oh, yeah, Joe Dispenza, he's always writing some good stuff. Got yeah. it, got it. You are amazing. You rock. You're incredible for all the folks that are out there. Again, mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining. We appreciate every single one of you. April to April and Phil said my number one takeaway is to update my LinkedIn profile. Patsy Yancey said my big takeaway is about section. The first three lines should be impactful. So true. Annette Smith put my number one takeaway was to develop relationships before she put that in all capital letters before connecting by the way indeed for every single one of you out there it's so wonderful so humbling tony tony who's been watching said my takeaway dot 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 being strategic about the people who we connect with 
on LinkedIn. I guess we don't have to accept everybody, do we? Don't have to accept everybody. What's up, Michelle Davis? She says, great job for everyone that's out there. Let's give her another warm of applause. I tell her she did an awesome job. Let's say thank you. Let's say we appreciate you. For all of you who haven't connected with us, make sure you connect with us over at the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe, the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe.com. We'll make sure we post the notes. And and she's already agreed. I've already asked. She's gonna be providing. Don't forget a producer's minute, by the way. She's not gonna leave you out there and then we're going to come back and do an unveiling of the shea brown linkedin page oh my gosh i can't wait <laughs> and two of you who have taken time if you haven't done it yet i know we're done we're done we're done don't worry about it but look right below the video what's up michelle davis she said great job look right below the video and put your linkedin profile even if you did it again i'd make it really easy for her to find you so put your linkedin profile below she's going to click on it she's going to select two people now What's the criteria? Well, first you have to post it below. Why, Shay? Because the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. So you yeah. gotta take action. And that's what the Happy Entrepreneur Show is about. It's about, it's about providing the resources necessary for you, the entrepreneur, so you can execute the vision you have for the people you were called to serve. And some of you is money, some of you is resources. I can't wait, by the way. Uh, Kim Warren Martin says, thank you, Deborah. You rock. That was very simple to the point. You rock. Tony Tony said, thank you so much. Thank you so much. They're putting their profiles down there, by the way. They want to make sure they get that. I've been doing the same thing, by the way. All right, they're like, Shay, you rambling on. You got to go. Don't worry about it. I like hanging out with you guys. You guys are all wonderful. But in all seriousness, we got to go. So with that being said, Deborah, once again, thank you. Thank you, the viewer, for showing up. If it's your first time, welcome. If you come back again and again, we appreciate you. Without you, there is no show. So thank you so much. So with that being said, by the way, my name, for those folks that are tuning in for the very first time, my name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you, from the bottom of my heart, we're going to make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless. And I wish you all success. Bye-bye, Deborah. Bye, Shay. Thank you so much. Peace, Thank you so as they much. say. Peace. Go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. And I'm here right now in this moment with none other than the one and only Dr. Willie Jolly. What's up, my friend? It's a privilege and a pleasure and a treat and a treasure to be in your presence. All right, Delator, we're going to get started. You ready, Delator? I'm ready, friend. I'm you ready, Dr. Connect? Ready, you ready. Got, no, none other than Andy Harikas. And, <laughs> and we have someone like a Dr. Sonia, who's a bad sister. All right, now, go ahead <laughs> with your bad self. None other than the Kim Warren Martin. That's the promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we win, we no matter what. Man. Got money on my mind, Man. I can get what you know. And every time I step Man. up in the building, yeah. everybody yeah. hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. And they stay there.